Hey you guys, welcome back to Stellar Rhythm. Today we are going to be talking about the moon in Cancun, no, I'm sorry, in Scorpio. So, um, I decided to take a few days off of recording videos because on the full moon I actually went to go get acupuncture. I hope it's not shaking too much, I feel like it is, but I'm outside, it's windy, I went to get some acupuncture on the full moon, which was Monday, and um, I just had a lot of things come up, and I needed to rest really, so that my body could process the emotions that were coming up, and um, the moon will be out of Libra by this evening, well, tomorrow morning, while I was sleeping, so I figured it would be best for us to talk about the moon in Scorpio. So with the moon in Scorpio, we may be feeling more internal, uh, really diving deep within our emotions and not really, this is not really a time of expressing how it is that we're feeling. Um, or it can be because Scorpio is about our intimate relationships, those who we uh, carry strong uh, bonds with from the depths of our being that we make soul ties with. So we may be communicating with these people in our lives. And this also may be a time of us just reflecting on uh, how it is that we share things with other people. So our resources, um, because Scorpio is about shared resources, about marriage, those that we have uh, love relationships with. This is also about our taxes and our debts. So if you just recently uh, filed your taxes within the last what, two weeks, then you will probably be receiving them over these next two days if you haven't already. So this is also, we can also be focused on just the things it is that have been holding us back that we have, like things may be illuminated that we weren't aware of how it is that we've kind of been emoting ourselves like so not necessarily feeling but emotions that we've been carrying and emotions are really just thought patterns that we tie um that we tie beliefs to you know and in those beliefs uh create our reality through that so we may also be focused on just really being on our own really taking our time this is walls flying around me but it hasn't done anything yet so it should uh i should be fine but Bashar is out here my husband's out here they are hanging out at the park and i figured it would be great to be by some water as we talk about scorpio so with scorpio we can also expressing ourselves from a very authentic and genuine place and really allowing this to serve us in expanding on our beliefs that need to so you know really focus on expressing ourselves from a really authentic and genuine place and connecting with others through this self-expression finding joy through our authenticity in the way in which it is that we 
are showing up, really connecting to our soul and to others and really finding the means of clarity through thought, through a higher knowing, through our beliefs and learning a little bit more about what it is that will best serve us in cultivating all the reality it is that we are attempting to create for ourselves. So this is also bringing action toward making our dreams a reality. This is also, stop pulling on my clothes. This is also us cutting out anything that is stopping us from being able to really be stable and proactive and disciplined in being able to trailblaze through these things to take the steps to make the moves to make things practical but also dreamy as well not getting caught up in the illusion or fantasy of what can be created versus seeing what is really possible and taking action on that really also tapping into our individualism and our genius in being able to make these things happen so we are also being supported in manifesting the security in which it is that we are attempting to create this home base that we need for a stable foundation in um being able to create everything else on top of finding security with ourselves feeling at home with ourselves feeling comfortable with who it is that we are and allowing the things that come up to support us and moving through that recognizing these patterns that create this fear within us and stop us from being able to really find home with who it is that we are and within our relationships that block us from being receptive to calling in the things that really feel good to us that really add value to our lives you know, especially with this being a Scorpio moon and it being about the things it is that we share with others, the feelings that we share for others, the the depths that we tap into when we connect with one another. So we are also being asked to really take all of the lessons that we've learned from the healing it is that we've gone through when it comes to how it is that we identify ourselves, how it is that we show up in the world and how it is that people are seeing us for the individuals that we are and allowing that to show up in our intimate relationships, allowing that to show up in the ways that we are co-creating with others to make money, to, to build, you know, and not allowing our perceptions of how it is that we think someone is thinking of us, not allowing the opinions of others to tarnish the beliefs it is that we have about ourselves, you know, and really standing firm in who it is that we are within connection to the other, you know, and showing up in that, you know, from a very genuine aspect, from a very truthful and honest place, you know, that supports us in making connections that can be lifelong that can um support us in our goals and within the things it is that we are creating you know because this time this space with the moon and scorpio it's a lot about co-creation it's about what we share with other people you know again this is shared resources this is marriage this is the people who we have children with this is the people who we gain our money through in the event we have to work for somebody else or somebody who's just putting us on and being able to connect with others and able to gain more resources you know and this is also about like banks that we take out loans from and debts that we have accumulated through other institutions right and getting to the bottom of how it is that we can take care of these things because Scorpio is about investigation and finding clarity you know that's a lot about what the what the occult energy has to do with with all of this because the occult the divination it helps us see clearly through the layers that exist within Scorpio so we will find ourselves having to put more effort or put some effort into 
making trailblazing into making things happen. We'll see where the work needs to be done. Um, we are supported. We're seeing where we are being, we are also seeing where we're being conflicted. Let me see something. Yeah, so we're seeing, recognizing where it is that we need to think on a higher level when it comes to interacting with others, when it comes to attaining our goals and having to work with others in doing that. Because Mercury that is now in Aquarius is coming in contact with this Scorpio moon. So this is Scorpio moon is about um, connecting with others, right? But also it is about a lot of seclusion and very hermit phase. Tapping into the inner wisdom that lives within us. But with this Mercury and Aquarius energy, this is really asking us to align align what it is that we are choosing to do and what it is that we know, how it is that we can take what it is that we think we know to a higher level that works for all of the greater good, you know? And with this, if this will support us, yes. So we are going to be taking a lot of initiative as far as our goals that we're setting for ourselves, our, our success, our public image, what, um, fame it is that we're cultivating for our lives and fame in a sense of what it is that we're being known as not necessarily being famous or anything like that uh, because fame in astrology is just based about based on the people it is that you know and who knows you so you could know 15 people 15 people can know you you're famous kind of thing so but this is more on a much larger scale simply because this is about the work it is that you're giving to others, the, the business, the career it is that you're cultivating and, you know, your political agenda. What do you stand for and what are you building from that? And this can also even be gaining some, you may even find yourself gaining some type of promotion or recognition from your boss or from your higher ups in work um and maybe this could even bring some type of promotion or uh expanding within where it is that you are trying to cultivate a long-term standing within whatever company it is that you work for or this could be about your own personal business you know so we are taking the time there are going to be some transformations and rebirths happening but it's going to take effort it's going to take our it's going to take for us to put in the work to make these things happen they're just not going to happen but if we put in the effort they will it's going to be really easy you know it's just all up to us you know, to clear any karma out of the way that is stopping us or blocking us or restricting us, delaying our progress, delaying our success. Uh, and we'll be able to see furthermore uh, what it is within us and how it is that we are stopping our own selves from being able to move forward with what it is that we are these endeavors that they're coming to whether this is in relationships whether this is work you know it really just all depends on where these placements fall in your chart how it's going to manifest into your life for you so this will also be working well with the the self-expression from that genuine standpoint that i was talking about and really being able to cultivate your ideals you know really connecting with people from a very unconditional and compassionate uh place of being being very understanding to where it is that people are in in their process in their progress of life you know we're all moving and expanding in life in on different levels in different ways you know so that is not for it's this basically is a time of cutting out competition cutting out that better than you know because neptune is involved neptune and pisces is involved the sun and pisces is involved these these energies are really focused on everybody winning everybody being loved everybody being supported and guided to where it is that we are going whether that's individually or the people who surround us in our sphere it's all about really taking the time to reflect and see how it is that 
reflect and see how it is that we're mirroring one another, each other in our lives, you know, and recognizing what this is bringing to us in order to either cultivate or let go of within ourselves, you know, every relationship that we experience, it comes with some type of purpose, you know, and that purpose and how it plays out is really based on us as individuals. So we can either take the time to communicate or we can take the time to reflect within and and see what it is about ourselves and how it is that we can show up a little bit differently in order to make things progress for the for the process that is happening here with everybody involved so Oh, one thing I didn't talk about is that we may also be either coming into balance or finding the balance it is that needs to be made when it comes to the changes that need to happen when it comes to our long-term goals surrounding our values. Like, what values do we need to start embodying in order for things to shift, for things to start to make sense, for things to be seen from a higher perspective, for how are we going to allow God to intervene in to where it is that we're headed and what it is that we're cultivating you know and who it is that we're cultivating these things with how we're relating to one another um and how are we creating more beauty within our relationships instead of manipulation where can we show up in a more gentle kinder way where does that balance need to be made because Taurus and Scorpio are very different Taurus is more receptive and uh sees things from a very loving and kind perspective until unless they come to this place of being needing to deal with something out of being treated some kind of way or perceiving that they being that they're being treated some kind of way and whereas scorpio is more judgmental it's very skeptical of people and untrusting and with that can bring a lot of untrustworthy energy from others uh to others from how it is that they're showing up because you know the ways in which it is that we see people it, we have to kind of ask ourselves well how are we seeing ourselves you know what is the truth here what what is really happening here how how are we showing up in order to support the relationship you know because Taurus and Scorpio both they are opposites but they are very much both about relating to one another cultivating with one another it takes one it's like a very give and take six of pentacles kind of energy but it's more watery, emotions are involved. Although Taurus is an earth sign, it's, it, it's about the feels. What, what am I feeling? What am I sensing? How are things showing up? So, or how am I showing up? And how is that reflecting through the relationships it is that I have with other people you know so that is all that this Scorpio moon has for us taking time to really go within will be the best remedy to any conflict that arises during this time so that we can really listen and hear to hear ourselves so that we can really see what are the best ways that will serve everybody in this and not be in this space of, I guess we could say selfishness, by only thinking of ourselves, by only seeing how it is that we need to show up to benefit us. Because if only one person is being benefited, then everyone else in the equation gets left out in some kind of way. So the cards that came up, we got soul family. So we'll be connecting with people who really get us, who really understand us, you know, people who are willing to be there to support us. This is that Scorpio energy, that shared resources, that, that shared help. But this is also very Aquarian 11 house energy. The friends that we choose, the people that we would desire to 
have whole space for us in our life. Our tribe, those who we resonate with and who resonate with us, who connect with us on a whole, on a heart and a soul level, you know. And this is really bringing out the authority within us individual as, as an individual and in helping us attain all parts of ourselves that we may have sacrificed or surrendered for whatever purpose because our wholeness is the only way that we can really show up and be supportive of one another we can't it's like the the cup half empty you know you must have a full cup in, in order to pour in order to pour it into another and that comes with the judgment the the call of god to revive your inner child your uh that teenager in you that adult in you the the father son god connection you know however you want to see it and in that really connecting with the mastery of who it is that you are and this is coming through our experience based on the things it is that we have learned through going through through making the waves for ourselves you know through trials and tribulations the lessons that come through these are things that coming into this emperor energy these are things that cannot be taught they are things that can only be learned by going you know and that is coming through this call this judgment call this revival of the self and helping us this is the fifth house helping us further express ourselves from a more joyful place from a place of being connected to our inner child from that place of innocence that place of pure love of the connection just for connecting the loving just because you can you know the giving just because it, you, you have it because it's because life is generous you know because you have the abundance and you can share that with other people you know really showing up and shining through this aspect being in this active expansive energy you know and connecting with those who are going to help us reach our goals those who are going to help us uh just have great friendships with one another you know because connection is the is that one thing that makes us human it reminds us that this is what it is that we're here for you know and allows us to remember that we are not the only ones here and we are not the only ones that need help that we are not the only ones that can help you know, so uh, this these next two days, what's today, Wednesday, this is going to be for tomorrow, so 12, 13, 14, Thursday, Friday, and partially Saturday, you know, we're really going to be focused on being able to really express ourselves and cultivate and attain all it is that the world, okay, that the universe, you can't mess with everything, okay? We about to go. I'm almost finished. Come on, sit down. Oh. Uh, so. Scorpio moon um, please reach out to me I'll be adding it to the website so you can just book the reading um, but if you would also like to get in touch a little bit more with your feminine through your menstrual cycle and learn a little bit more about fertility awareness then please reach out to me on my website and I am here for whatever for readings just to talk all of that so i hope you guys have a great scorpio moon transit and i will see you guys on saturday bye